let's go over the Babylonian numbers. Babylonian numbers. Besides being called Babylonian numbers, they also commonly go by cuneiform. This number system is a base 60 system. It's also a positional system, which means the order that these things are written in is important. You can't change the order of some of these symbols. And there are two symbols. Alright. So, the two symbols that are used are this right here, which is equal, we'll say equal to 1 at first, which that's a little bit misleading, and this symbol right here, which we'll say it's equal to 10. No matter what, this symbol is always worth 10 times as much as this symbol. So, maybe wondering how we can represent large numbers. Because if the biggest thing we can write is 10, we would have to write 100 of these to make 1,000. But it's actually a lot easier to represent large numbers than you would think with this kind of system. So, first let's go, let's do a few easy numbers first. Let's say we want to represent the number 7. Well, 7 is done by just drawing 7 of these. And by convention... There are, let's see, by convention, there are only, you never draw three, more than three of these in a row. So right now we have three on top of three, which is six. And this right here makes seven. What if we want to do another number? What if we want to do, let's see, uh, 23. Well, we need two of these, so that'll be 20. And then we draw three more, and that's equal to 23. So it's easy enough so far. And that pattern continues all the way up to the number 59. So to draw 59, we would draw five of these. And then we would need three stacks of three for our ones place. So this number right here is 59. Uh, what if we want to represent something bigger? Well, in this number system, I'd said this was 1 at first, but it can also be 60, or really, almost, it can be a lot of different numbers. So the way it works is, let's say I want to represent, we'll do an example. Let's say I want to represent the number 183. Well. When after we represent 59, if I had drawn one of these symbols to the left of here, it would actually be worth 60. So 183, we'll draw three of these. So those are 60 each. We'll say 60 times 3 equals 180. And then we need three more. So because I leave a space between these three, and I don't write them on top of each other, that shows that this group is the, they represent six each, and this group they represent one each. One times three equals three. Sixty plus three, or I'm sorry, that's not sixty plus three, that's one eighty plus three. 180 plus 3 equals 183. Alright, so let's break this down a little bit. How is this number system working? Well, over here, well, I'll draw a number. Actually, let's change the color of that one. Let's make this one yellow over here. We'll draw two of those, two of these, and we'll do one more group to make this more convincing. Alright, so the way 
this works is we said this is always worth 10 times the amount of that. So in the first group of them, we have this will equal 60 to the 0th power equals 1. So that is 10 times that amount, which that would equal 10. For our second group, this symbol equals 60 to the first power, which is 60. And this equals 10 times that number, so 600. And then for our last group, if you can see the pattern here, this symbol equals 60 to the third or to the 60 to the second power, so 60 squared. And 60 squared is 3600. Oops, let me. Uh, make this a little bit neater. So that's 60 squared, which is 3600. And this is 3600 times 10, so we'll add another zero there. So that's 36,000. So this number right here, well, we can add it up pretty easily. In this first column, we have two ones, plus 10, so that's 12 ones, so that's 12 times 1, so that's a total of 12. In our second column, we have a total of 22 times 60, so 22 times 60, see that's 120, let's see, yeah, 120, 1200 plus 120 is 1320. So 1,320. And for our last symbol, we have 36,000 plus 3,600 times 3. So 3,600 times 3 would be 10,800. So 10,800 plus 36,000. I hope you're checking me at home, because I may have got one of these numbers wrong. It wouldn't surprise me if I did. So that equals 0, 0, 8, 6, 4, plus 13, 20, plus 12. So let's say we'll add uh, 1, 3, 3, 2 to that. So we get 2, 3, 1, 8. So the total number we wrote up here is 48,132. Notice that's how the Babylonian number system works. I'm going to have a few examples of converting from this to the Roman numerals and from the Roman numerals to this.